Animal agriculture is a multi-billion dollar industry controlled by some of the world's most powerful people and is an industry rooted in lies, secrecy and animal abuse. Our schools, governments, doctors and media have hidden the truth for long enough. Here is what they don't want you to see. In the dairy industry, cows need to be pregnant in order to produce milk. In order to collect the bull sperm to impregnate the female cow, the farmer masturbates the cow's penis. Once the sperm has been collected, the female cow is restrained whilst the farmer inserts their arm into the cow's anus to hold the cervix in place. Then a metal rod is used to insert the sperm into the cow's vagina. When the mother gives birth, her baby is taken from her so that the milk intended for her calf can be sold to humans. If her baby is male, he is considered a waste product in the dairy industry and is usually killed within a week. If the cow's baby is female, she will also become a dairy cow and will go through the same process as her mother year after year. When dairy cows can no longer produce milk, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be killed. Only female chickens lay eggs, which means that when the male and female chicks hatch, the male chicks are left on the conveyor belt and are killed immediately by a macerator. This is because they are considered a waste product in the egg industry. The process is the same for all eggs, including free range, organic and RSPCA approved eggs. The female baby chicks are taken off the conveyor belt where the tips of their beaks are burnt off without pain relief. The female chicks are then transported to farms where they are forced to lay hundreds of eggs in crowded and unsanitary conditions. After a year and a half, the chickens are carelessly thrown into crates and loaded onto trucks destined for the slaughterhouse. The chickens are already severely traumatized from careless handling and crowded conditions. This journey will be the first and last time that they see the light of day. At the slaughterhouse, the chickens are hung upside down and lowered headfirst into a tank of electrified water in order to stun them. Shortly after, their throats will be cut by an automated blade. If chickens move their heads when they are approaching the blade, they may end up drowning in the scalding water further down the process. sperm by masturbating the boar's penis. Hey, yo. The farmer then inserts the sperm into the female pig's vagina in order to impregnate her. Once the mother pig gives birth, she is confined to a metal device called a farrowing crate, where she is unable to move or turn around to see her babies. All of her piglets will have their teeth clipped and their tails cut off with no pain relief. Unhealthy piglets are deemed a waste product and are slammed against a concrete wall or floor by farmers. This is standard practice in the pork industry. When the pigs are only six months old, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be killed. In the pork industry, pigs are lowered into a CO2 gas chamber where they will suffocate and burn from the inside out. Finally, they will then be hung upside down and have their throats slit. In the fishing industry, fish are thrown into ice cold water where they can take up to 30 minutes to suffocate to death. Even though their screams are silent, it has been scientifically proven that fish can feel pain. These practices happen to animals all over the world. Australia, USA, United Kingdom, Canada, Thailand, Cambodia, Spain, France, Mexico, The 
only way to end this suffering is to stop eating animals, wearing animals, and using animals for experiments and entertainment. Scientific studies have shown that eating meat, dairy, and eggs could cause a variety of diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. More than 800 scientific studies worldwide have proven that processed meats such as bacon, hot dogs, and deli meats are a class one carcinogen, meaning that they cause cancer in humans. Even though these products are known to be harmful to our health, they are readily available to children in schools and sick patients in hospitals. A plant-based diet can provide all of the essential vitamins and nutrients, including protein, iron, and calcium. and has even been proven to reverse certain diseases and cancers. Animal agriculture is not only responsible for inflicting unimaginable suffering on animals, it is the leading cause of species extinction, ocean dead zones, water pollution, and habitat destruction. It's time we change the way we view animals, to see them as individuals who are here with us, not for us. From this moment on, you can no longer say that you didn't know. Damn, that's sad. That's yeah, so for now on. This is my last time eating meat. I'm not eating meat no more. No, no. Yeah, I'm not eating meat no more. Screw eating meat. Anyway, guys, goodbye. You guys have a great night, and thanks for watching.